कह समस्त सुखी नो लेट ऑल लाइफ ऑन द प्लेनेट बी हैप्पी I have been asked by someone that I should give some live example of the psychopath, the serial killer. I got an opportunity to deal with many of the serial killers. in my 52 years of career at one of the most busiest center of the india the all india institute of medical sciences in addition many of the cases were referred for the opinion by various states of india being the premier institute of this country today i will uh, tell you one of the narcissist sorry psychopath who has killed 21 women in a period of 2 years this fellow this person come from a very rural hilly area he was domestic help <coughs> of someone for 12 years he took care of the house cleaning and maintenance of the front yard and backyard of the house his owner recommended him to another person who had recently acquired one house as a guest house since he had one industrial plant in that very city but he was residing in another city of india so once or once in two months or 3 months he used to visit this place to inspect the industry and provide supervision so instead he purchased it was staying in the hotel he thought it right to present to purchase a house which he can make a guest house so his friend recommended this particular person who was with him for 12 years as a domestic help he readily agreed and employed him when we have taken history of this guy he was living separate from his family family for all these years he used to go meet his family only once in a year for one month that's a leave period it was suitable to the second uh, owner also owner of the house and hence he was employed he was uh, man of very limited words very few words he used to speak and throughout day he used to carry on his work the owner of this house had one weakness that whenever he came to this guest house to stay overnight he will drink alcohol and in the same day he will call a call girl now his servant who took it was a normal he started watching secretly 
the sexual activity of his master. He has already been engaged in masturbation. He had a compulsive habit of masturbation more than once a day. And it was so impulsive that he will use his bathroom for this purpose. So now he was witnessing the sexual activity. So naturally, after that, he used to masturbate once or more than once. Now these girls who used to come, they, they always came 10-15 minutes before the arrival of, or at times more, before the arrival of the master of house. So he got an opportunity to interact. And during this interaction, he used to take their phone number. And then subsequently, he used to call them, telling them that the master has come and he is calling you. This unknowingly girl, unknowingly this girl will come. As usual, he will offer them tea and other snacks. He will go to kitchen, come prepared with the ligature and struggle at the girl, then have a sexual activity with the deceased girl when she is dead of stimulation, she will, he will attempt the sexual intercourse. And after that, he will take the dead body and put in the bathroom which was allotted to him. That was in the middle of the staircase. Now, has this continued for two years and they killed 21 women during this period. In the night, he will dissect this woman. He had an experience of dissecting the animal in his childhood because he belonged to a family whose profession was to remove the hide and the bones from the dead animals. So therefore he was knowing that how to remove the joints and how to dissect the dead body. He was having a good knowledge of this thing and therefore he will disarticulate the entire body and each portion he will put in a polythene in the night and drop in front of his house there was a nala and there was a hole in that nala and from that hole he will drop the pieces one by one into the nala drain. Some of the heads he has thrown in the backyard because backyard were not approachable. It was approachable only by backside by if somebody come from the backside and he jumps the wall, back wall, then only he can have a narrow strip of the backyard which was lying dirty since no plantation or no care was being taken of that area. So some of the heads he has thrown there. Incidentally or accidentally, someone entered into that area and he detected some hairs and subsequently few skulls. When the skulls were reported to the police, since already a complaint was lost that women, they come up to the, that house. Before that house, about 100 yards before, there was a shop, tea shop. So that fellow said that women he has seen many times coming up to this point, but after that there is no trace of them. So local police has posted on that shop two constables to keep it or trace it where the women are going. And this servant has developed friendship with those police officers also. 
since he used to keep the door open and silently these girls used to come and enter the house nobody took notice of it and secondly the friendship with the police people and he used to offer them all these snacks throughout the day tea etc that they were they have become very good friends so nobody suspected so that's how after one after another he went on killing the women have a sexual activity with them and after the sexual activity he used he had a special liking for the breast and the buttocks he said that he feel like eating them so we'll remove the buttock or the breast in very well in every case while dissecting but in some cases he attempted to eat them he he cooked them and after cooking he wanted to eat but his expression was that because of excessive fat he could not eat completely so a bit a portion of that breast and the buttock he used to cook and eat also that was the story was told by him now the biggest question comes is that how we say he was a psychopath and if he was a psychopath why he was silent earlier 12 years when he was working in somebody's house the psychopath per se as i told you that they are not violent all the time they have no emotions they have no remorse and therefore they are highly calculative they have no emotional intelligence at all their brain is just like a computer so as long as there is no programming they cannot function how does the programming occur says when he was working for 12 years in first honor he did not get any additional information or programming in his mind his job was simply to clean house take care of the front garden back garden that's all and then go to sleep so as per his statements he used to must must have two or three times and then have a sleep so there there were no opportunity of any programming now in this new house the only change was that master had used to have sexual activity with the call girls and he got a personal to this nest so he mind got programmed for that he has seen the activity and accordingly it is pro- programmed in his and he already is having an excessive desire which he controlled with the masturbation now his brain is totally programmed for new thing he doesn't have because of the lack of emotional intelligence he cannot differentiate right and wrong he has no moral values he has no sense of duty towards his family he just like a stone told to do like a computer now this computer has seen something which he wants to practice because of, because of his sexual impulses so he started it asking the telephone numbers of the women and then calling them in absence of the master and using by ligature he used to stimulate mind it he has not changed his sex, this uh, ligature material for all these 21 methods he has prepared one ligature of nylon which he has kept and killed 21 women with the same ligature repeated the same thing and 